Aloha folks, welcome to another video. My name is Mark, Mr. Dividend Investor. Today, I wanna to talk about three dividend companies that you definitely wanna put in your watch list or even uh, start your dividend portfolio on. Uh, if you do these three, if you invest in these three companies, you will have dividends uh, payments for every month. As always, please remember this is not a financial advice. This is just me sharing uh, one of the strategies that I personally do. Uh, if you are new to the channel, just wanted to say welcome. Hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to investing and you want to learn about which companies are great to invest on, dividends, growth stocks, or even penny stocks, you've come to the right channel, my friend. You uh, hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on these uh, videos that I put out. Uh, all right, let's start first on the list, uh, the well-known Johnson & Johnson. Uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar with it, you probably use their products in all things. This is one of those staple companies that we use in every, pretty much everything. It engages in the research and development, manufacture and sales of products in the health care field. So they are one of the companies that uh, created a vaccine that is uh, uh, taking care of uh, fighting the current pandemic. So um, let's take a look at Simply Safe Dividend and let's take a look at some of the metrics in there. Dividend safety score is 99, which for them it is considered very safe. The dividend yield is 2.50, market cap is 450, 425 billion. Now if we look down more into the key metrics, payout ratio is 50%. Uh, during recession, they have increased it on the 07 to 09. Uh, dividend streak of 58 years without a reduction, so that is just amazing in my opinion. Now if we look further down to some of the charts, you can see for the past five years, their dividend growth is 6%. The last 20 years, it's up 10%. So again, very great. Uh, definitely, if you invested on this 20 years ago, you would have been up 10% per year, which is considered to be fast. Now, if you look at that chart, look, great upward trend. Now, if we look a little bit more, you can see 58 years of consecutive increases. And also, more importantly, uninterrupted dividend streak of 58 years without a reduction. I think that's just amazing. Now, if we look down to the schedule, you're going to get paid March, June, September, and December. So I want you to take a note of this because as I review the other two, you will see how each month you will get paid, whether it is this company or the other company or the, or the other one. So if you want to start your own uh, dividend portfolio, you can start with these three gig companies. So let's take a little bit more and see some more information about it. Now, if we look at Yahoo Finance, as you can see, uh, their finan financials are great. So you got 82, 82.58 billion. The earnings is 14.71 billion. Now, if we look at the earnings, you can see it's been beats the past four quarters. Looking down even more, the trend is a mixture of strong buy, buy, and a hold, some sell. Um, what surprised me is that the uh, price target, so the average is 185. Currently, right now, at the time of this video, it was 161. So it is pretty cheap uh, under value at, at this point. Um, now, let's take a look at the uh, top institutional holdings holders. Now, if you look down to Yahoo Finance, you can see, oh, my favorite one, Vanguard Group. They bought about 227 million, followed by BlackRock, 188 million. State Street Corporation bought about 143 uh, million. So, pretty big amount. Uh, usually, these three is the ones that I see when you get these solid companies. Um, now let's take a look at tip ranks. Um, again, their price target is about 189 with 17% upside. Now their 12 month forecast is in the high of 201. 
the average of 189 and the low of 175, with the analysis recommendations of strong buy based on 11 analysis. So that's pretty good. 10 strong, 10 buy, one hold. Now, if we look at Weeble, uh, checking out the institutional holdings, you can see uh, about a thousand of them increased, 388 were new, and a thousand of them decreased. Now, if you look upwards, you can see their price target is pretty almost similar with the price, the high of 200, the average of 185, and the low of 153. Um, looking at their rating, you can see 19 analysis rated it as a buy. So uh, definitely a great company to, in my opinion, a great company to invest on. Um, also, if you are ready to start your dividend uh, portfolio, there is a link in the comment section. If you use my link and you deposit at least $100 uh, on your first deposit, you get a stock, I get a stock. Uh, these are free money guys, so you definitely want to take advantage of that. So again, the link is in the comments section, but you got to deposit at least $100 on your first deposit. Um, all right, let's move on to bar chart. As you can see in bar chart, looking at their analysis target prices in the high of 200 as well, their mean is 183 and the low is 160. Now their rating is pretty much a strong buy for the past three months, as you can see from the chart. Uh, the current one is based on 12 analysis and they rated a strong buy. Uh, we look around to the rating breakdown. You can see about eight strong buy, three holds, and one moderate buy. So I'm definitely, I'm a big fan. Uh, full disclosure, I do have position in J&J. &J. Definitely going to keep this uh, for a, a long time. Love the stock, love the company. Uh, next on the list is American Tower Corporation. The ticker symbol is AMT. This is an American real estate investor, investment trust and an owner and operator of wireless and broadcast communications infrastructure in several countries worldwide. So if you look at their website, uh, 186,000 global sites. So they're in six continents. 22 countries, 5,500 employees. So you can see a little bit more um, information of this. Now, if we look at Simply Safe Dividend, based on their uh, analysis, their dividend safety is a 78, which is safe. Their dividend yield is 2.23. Market cap is about 99 billion. Now, if we look down to the key metrics, you can see payout ratio is 53%. Um, followed by a dividend streak of eight years without a reduction. Uh, during recession, they didn't pay any dividends. So now if we look at the dividend growth, last year, uh, full year, they were up 20%, which is very fast. The last five years, it was pretty much the same, 20%, which is very fast, you can see. Um, so a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller than J&J, uh, &J, but still is a, I see this as a major player when 5G starts rolling out even more and more. Uh, eight years of consecutive increases, uninterrupted dividend streaks of eight years without a reduction. Now, if we look at the pay schedule, you can see uh, the frequency uh, is February, April, July, and October. So with the annual payout of $4.96. Now, if we look at Yahoo Finance, you can see their earnings, not so great the past Four quarters it's been a miss uh, if you look at the financials you can see financials is still great 8.04 uh, billion earnings is 1.69 you can see uh, increasing uh, rate the rating is uh, at December it was a strong buy to buy and some hold uh, if you look at the price target so currently it is 222 the average is about 272 so um, now, if we look at the top institutional holdings, looking at it, you can see pretty much the same three of the same companies we saw in J&J, &J, Vanguard Group, BlackRock, and State Street Capital. Um, look at that big amount, uh, huge amount of the stocks they've been, uh, they hold. So uh, definitely something to take a look at. Now, if we look at Webull, pretty much the same. 
uh, increase, 660 increase, 277 are new, 519 are decreased. Now if we look at the price target, the high of 324, the average of 272, and the low of 230. And their rating based on 20 analysis rated also as a buy. So now if we look at tip ranks, you can see uh, their price target is 273 with 22% upside. Their high is in 324. The average is 273. The low is 230. Uh, their rating is a strong buy based on eight analysis. Seven of them said it's buy. One is hold. So um, now if we look at bar chart, pretty much the same thing with the high of 324, medium of 272, and the low of 240. And their rating is also a moderate buy based on four and 14 analysis this time. Now, if we look down to it, you can see eight strong buy, two moderate buy, and four hold. So um, I'm definitely am a holder of this company as well. Uh, so um, definitely like this company. As, uh, like I said, um, I see this even, even increasing when 5G starts rolling out more and more. Last on the list is Amphenol, ticker symbol APH. This is a major producer of electronic and fiber optic connectors, cables, and interconnect systems such as coax cables. So um, looking at that, you can see a little bit more of it. Um, if we look to Yahoo Finance, you can see a little bit more. So their earnings, three beats and one miss. You can see the revenue is great. Uh, 2020 8.6 billion followed by the earnings of 1.2 billion now if we look down to the recommended trends you can see a mixture of the strong buy buy and a hold um, their price target is the average is 71 currently at the time of this video is 65 so it is pretty lower than the average price now if we look at the top institutional holdings you can see Vanguard is right there with 64 million followed by BlackRock with 45 uh, million followed by FMR 43 million now if we look at tip ranks uh, their price target is at 71 uh, with a 12 month forecast of high of 77 the average of 71 and the low of 66 with a moderate buy based on three buys and three holds now looking at uh, Weeble you can see uh, it has increased 288 increase 149 new 285 uh, decrease their price target also is the same 77 71 65 now if we look at the rating based on 17 analysis rated as a buy so definitely uh, favored uh, now if we look at bar chart pretty much the same their price target is 77 the mean is 64 and the lowest 37. Uh, their rating is also a moderate buy based on 12 analysis. Uh, if we look down more, you can see eight strong buy and then four holds. So if you look, it's been moderate by the past three months. All right. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you like this video. If you're not yet subscribing, do me a favor and subscribe. Join my little community of Ohana of investors. Uh, as always, please remember to do your own due diligence. Uh, uh, understand the companies you are investing on and always make sure you do your homework and your research when investing in any companies. Uh, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please be safe out there. Stay cool. Keep investing. And I'll catch you guys on the next video, right? Take care and aloha. Bye.